while it's streaming so that people can watch live on YouTube if they want. I don't know why it's been doing that, but so edit privacy public saved and there we go should be good so we'll get that up there as well so again we always um, have the stream focused on Facebook um, but again um, I do plan on doing some software upgrades and uh, I've seen some interfaces where you can get more stuff up there but uh, that costs money so we got to break some more stuff in order to do it How's that sound lots more stuff playbook comes out this week flawless baseball comes out this week so we got uh plenty of fun in store uh also friday release is leaf wrestling photos are back i think it's about a year and a half since we've seen those uh we did a couple cases of those first time around and uh our odell beckham jr and baker mayfield possible for the browns is Sam Darnold possible for the Jets? The answer is yes, with the caveat that Beckham Jr. could show up for the Browns, but he could show up for the Giants too. Um, a lot of times they'll have, you know, backstock on on certain players. And uh, in the past, before you know Beckham got sent over to the Browns. Um, we have hit multiple Giants helmets of his, and they may still have them. That happens with the jerseys, too. Um, but they may also, you know, have the new ones in there because it's a new product. So, so here we go. We're going to start things off with our first box of Prism here. Again, after this break. Let me know if you want to hang in there for another round, and uh, we'll get that set up. Everybody who's got teams in this one will have the first opportunity to buy into the second. All right, we can't do a third because we already sold one of the boxes as a personal, but I've already got something planned, and by Tuesday, um, I will have some more football, and by Wednesday, we will have playbook. So, hey, Greg, how you doing? How you doing? So, again, the remaining teams running out of time. First hit won't take long to come out here. Broncos, 75. Lions, 50. Seahawks, 75. Redskins, 115. Bengals, 50. Giants, 135. And what if I told you that the first hit is already in my hand and it's one of those six teams? And what if I went a step further and I said it might be a somewhat desirable player too? Huh? What if I push that button a little bit? So again, the first hit is going to go to one of the six teams that's still left. Um, hey, if you want a 50-50 shot, you can always get three, get a 10% discount, and uh, there's a good chance you'll be right. This isn't going to count as the first hit. This is going to get randomed off between all teams. So 250 Panini points is uh, the unofficial first hit. I just don't want to leave that in there with the code facing the other way. But uh, once we show the first real hit... And any of the 32 teams has a shot at those wonderful Panini points. Bring back the Kaboom Packs. So, and Lions and Bengals are gone. Lions and Bengals, Michael Kelly. All right. Did he guess right? Or is one of the four remaining teams still in play? So Lions and Bengals are gone. That leaves the Broncos at 75. Seahawks likewise. Redskins 115. Giants 135.
So Steve Marone, Broncos, Matt Puckett, Skins. Broncos and Skins are now gone. Did one of them guessing. Broncos are gone. And the Redskins are gone. Just two teams left. All right. Seahawks are 75. Giants are 135. If somebody wants to take the pair for an even 200, then I don't got to worry about talking about it no more. Seahawks are 75. Giants are 135. Somebody can grab the pair for 200. And Jesse Mack is going to grab the Giants. And again, for anybody who um, needs it, I just put my PayPal info there. If you need to use something other than PayPal, uh, just let me know. And I can get you a link from my website. Um, and that uses just a regular shopping cart like any other website would use. So Giants are now gone. So that just leaves the Seahawks. Seahawks are 75. And let's start showing some cards. Again, until we show that first hit. And VJ will take the Seahawks. We are sold out. So scrolling at the bottom of your screen is that 2018 Allen and Ginter case I was talking about. So let me just uh, update those teams real quick. All right, and then we'll start showing off some cards here. So that was Steve Marone. Michael Kelly. VJ. All right, so Jesse Mack, Giants, Matt Pocket Skins. All right, rock and roll time. Here we go. Again, we are sold out on this break. That's why we schedule them at 25. Why draw it out? There's always usually few people looking to just jump in on a break. So De David Devin McCourty is going to be our first card show in there for a while. And it's all about that base, about that base, until we start with the parallel of Ryan Finley. 81 out of 199, so that is a blue wave. Oh, no problem. Yeah, that's a that's a known issue. Hold on one second. Let's see. There you are. All right, that was sent. I sent a friend request, so it's easier for you to get the message. So, yeah, sometimes that's an issue with the uh, streams. They don't let you copy links and stuff. I got the same problem. TJ Hawkinson for the Lions. And Gardner Minshew, the second. Jags didn't look so hot today. What do we got here? Uh, goods. And just make sure your address is up to date. If it's not, let, let me know because I do hit the print shit label. So the only time I ever 
ask for friends and family as if somebody buys something in person at a show for me because uh, then I ain't going to mail it and I'm going to just hand it over to you. Um, or if your address is incorrect because of the way that PayPal works. Uh, Michael Thomas. And we got Kirk Cousins. And... 147 out of 149 so vikings uh made a little comeback i don't know they were flipping man they were flipping between games like like nobody's business i was trying to keep up with it ryan finley i was at a uh, my mother-in-law i guess like family birthday party so uh she turned 70 the other day and uh so happy birthday for her belated birthday not really, because I was there, and I wished her happy birthday on her birthday, but you know what I mean. Patrick Peterson, 62 out of 75, but I felt like they were like trying to show three games on the screen sometimes, and other times they were cutting in, like, oh, there's a review on this play, so let's go to another game, and it's like, wait, but I want to know what was good, what, like, do you think the review was going to work, or no? I don't know, whatever. I felt today was a little disjointed. I don't know. Anybody else feel the same way? Thank you. And we got here. And I don't even feel that way watching Red Zone. <laughs> Maybe I was watching Red Zone. I don't know now that I think about it. Patrick Mahomes. I wasn't at home. Eagles, man, I really thought they could. They had a shot. It's not like the Patriots have been playing stiff competition or anything like that. Um, hey, the the Eagles are the best of the NFC East by default, maybe. I don't know. I mean, the Cowboys lost to the Jets. So I don't, I don't care what the record is. 135 out of 249. Giants lost to the Jets. Redskins lost to the Jets. Nobody else has lost to the Jets. NFC East is terrible. <laughs> but hey, at least we have more football stuff to talk about than Colin Kaepernick, right? He hasn't been signed yet, has he? I would think Twitter would be blowing up my notifications right now. So there was that first hit. That first hit for the Broncos. Drew Locke. So I think it was Steve. You guessed correctly. Eh, had a one in six chance. So, um, possibly got Josh Jacobs and LJ Collier. It's possible. I wouldn't say that's a guarantee, but they, they could be in playoff talk. Please, the Jets would have the same record as the 49ers and the Patriots. <laughs> oh, one of those teams that was left over is also going to get the second hit. So somebody else made a lucky guess, too. All right. Technically, it's the third hit of the box because we had those points show up. When points show up in Panini boxes, does anybody feel like they're watching Press Your Luck and the whammy just showed up? You're like, all right, we're going to get an autograph. No whammies, no whammies. Stop. <laughs> I mean, really. But every once in a while, they throw something good in the points. You just got to... Keep those eyes open. Kind of like the new 2020 Donruss parallel. 
with the eyeball emojis. Interesting, to say the least. I don't blame Panini for the fact that they can't use Major League logos. I blame Major League Baseball. I can't blame Tops because if that's what's being offered, you take it. <laughs> oh, I should get the sound bite and just play it every time we get points. <laughs> wah, wah. Greg Zerline. Blue Wave, 121 out of 199. Easton speaks softly and carry a big stick. Noah Font for the Broncos. And you got Khalil Mack. Saquon Barkley. What is that? Is that Red Wave? It looks like Bronze Wave. I don't know. 107 out of 149. It's shiny, and I like it. That's all that matters. So Saquon Barkley. It's not a bad veteran parallel. Take it. Question is, is he going to hold up? Montez Sweat. Andy Isabella. <laughs> yeah, we were actually watching it for the first time time on uh i guess they they remade it for abc uh recently and it's on um i think it's on hulu and jesse's like i feel like watching a game show and i saw that and i was like next to next to classic concentration that was my favorite game show all right danny amandola Five out of 49. It's low numbered. We'll give that a little one cent love. For Detroit Rock City. And I just love the the stupid animations and all that good stuff. I mean, let's face it. The questions are ridiculously simple. And they're multiple choice. But the show is fun. And we got a silver for the Vikings. Always good to see silver rookies. Irv Smith Jr. Yeah, it's got some upside to it, right? Irv Smith Jr. for the Vikings. Ladanian Tomlinson, numbered 148 out of 249. And Terry McLaurin, who we've hit a lot this year. He's been kind of easy peasy to get for us. Dwayne Haskins, on the other hand, the elusive one. But we hit him in memorabilia the other day. So I'm feeling like uh, he's, he's going to be due for some cardboard love. Harrison Smith, 74 out of 199. Dexter Lawrence. Missed that one before. And we'll finish this off with Bengals. Sensational signatures, Jermaine Pratt. Jermaine Pratt for the Bengals. Got Irv Smith Jr. and Damian Harris to close out box number one. So we got four boxes of Prism. We got four helmets. So let's start things off with a uh, Leaf Mini. And see, see how it goes from there. Leaf autograph mini helmet.
Hey, they come out pretty frequently in these things. How about them Cowboys? So we have Mel Renfro. Mel Renfro, Cowboys. So we're going old school there. All right, Mel Renfro. I think he was in the Hall of Fame, isn't he? Cornerback. Spent all 14 years with the Cowboys. Yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. I figured that. Because I know we had some Hall of Fame inscribed jerseys, I was pretty sure. Uh, also in the College Football Hall of Fame. He played from 1964 to 1977 and still has nice penmanship. Rock on. At the age of 77. God bless him. Second box of Prism. Let's keep alternating. One box of Prism, one helmet. Next, we'll do the TriStar helmet. We'll go back to the Leaf after the third box. And the grand finale should be the full-size helmet. I think that's fair enough. Box number two. So again, three hits per box. And unfortunately, the points do count as a hit, but I don't know, we haven't been seeing more than two points per case, so. Hopefully, we'll avoid the whammy for the rest of the break. Got some pretty tie-dye going on there. So, anybody got any thoughts and feelings they want to discuss about today's games? I like to bring it out to topics you guys want to discuss first. Talk about how Dwayne Haskins looks. I mean, I guess the plus side is he had two TDs and only one interception, but he's not looking very commanding of his offense right now. And he's got some weapons. It's not like he's uh, handcuffed in that respect. 18 out of 149, Tyrell Williams for the Raiders. Yeah, that's another one the Giants passed up on. Don't get me wrong. I've said it before. I think Saquon Barkley is possibly that, you know, once in a 10-year type talent. Um, just so happens that Adrian Peterson is still around after 10 years. Um, he was the last guy I would say that about. But will it be enough? That is the question. And the answer is most likely not. By the time he's in his prime, I don't think the Giants will have it figured out yet. And if he breaks down, you know, you hope that doesn't happen if you're a Giants fan. I, I I think I still am. 132 out of 249. I don't know, man. That front office ticks me off all the time. Yeah, Broncos blowing a 20-point lead, man. 
I mean, their guys aren't e the same. Even their star guys, like, you know, Von Miller. and It's just, it's not the same Broncos. I bet you are. <laughs> and see, the Giants could have gotten a decent running back this year. <laughs> Quarterback first. That is the, in this day and age, in this offensive schematic, that is the number one thing you need is that franchise quarterback. Landon Collins, one out of 175. All right. Franchise being the key word. Darnold has a very good chance of being that franchise quarterback for the Jets. Daniel Jones, you're going to need to – you need more pieces. You know? Yeah, the guy's thrown four touchdowns a few times. Um, he's still a rookie. He's still, you know, in that inconsistency stage. He needs more time. He's not Drew Brees, where you only need uh, you know 1.2 seconds, and then he'll he'll have the ball released. You know, we got Keelan Cole with the silver. Ravens are looking very good. I really regret selling that true RPA Lamar Jackson in August. Yeah, Josh Allen's a good one. I mean, Ed Oliver was a good option, too. 81 out of 99. But, you know, in the in the preseason, talking to some people at some shows, I'm like, yeah, you know, they got some some good uh talent that they that they drafted. And I heard some naysayers on, on Marquise Brown, but I think he's working out all right. You know, still a rookie, so the consistency might not be there 100%. But Lamar Jackson, 68 out of 249. I felt last year being held back a little bit, you know. And they weren't sure which way to go. Um does he still have a way to develop? Yeah, but while he may not be Patrick Mahomes, uh, clearly he is exceeding expectations for a lot of people this year. Um, when you're, what are they, 9-1, 10-1, you're always still going to be the team to beat. But they're beatable. And I think that is what is in the Rams' favor. A uh, Rams, Ravens, Rams. What happened to them? I really thought that they were going to be uh, putting a hole through some teams this year. They are not the same team. Ooh, that's a nice franchise legend hit. I kind of like the fact that that Prism had a little bit more than just rookies this year. Um, it was always a rookie focus set. But you could always get good parallels, so it kind of didn't matter. Um, the veterans and the, you know, retired guys, there was always stuff for them. It just usually wasn't autographs. Um, but, hey, throwing, throwing some, a little variety in this year. I'm down with that. Yeah, it'll, it'll age him quicker, that's for sure. But, hey, if they can, uh, you know, quarterbacks have longer lifespans anyway. Um, if they can get a Super Bowl out of him in, or maybe two in six to eight years, um, I think they'll take that. I think most teams would.
So Yeah, and I like the fact that they save these head to heads for, for later in the year too. I mean as a NFC East guy, it was always fun watching one team spoil the other's fun. Then again, it usually was the Giants. It was either Super Bowl or nothing out of them, let's face it. 159 out of 199. Nothing nothing worse for me than seeing the Giants season ended early because the Eagles or the Cowboys decided to come play. Got unstoppable Luke Keekley. Devin Bush with the tie-dye. Numbered 44 out of 175. Nikhil Harry. Darwin Thompson for the Chiefs. 16 out of 149. Jimmy Graham, <clears throat> 101 out of 249. DeAndre Baker, Josh Oliver, there he is. Emmanuel Sanders has been an important piece this year. There's Carson Wentz, who unfortunately... Couldn't take down Tom Brady. But uh, how about Jameis Winston, man? Winston and Mariota, 2015. It's 2019. These guys shouldn't be bottoming out like this so fast. Blake Bortles, we could see it coming. But both Winston and Mariota... 52 out of 199. And I mean quick and hard. <laughs> like a rock. Darius Slayton has been putting together a nice string of games. So part of the reason why this guy has been throwing for four touchdowns here and there. Darius Slayton had a pair of touchdowns in two of the last three games for the Giants, if I'm not mistaken. Who's beating the Giants next? Whoever they play next. And Colts with a hit. Reggie Wayne. Definitely a franchise legend. Made legendary by Peyton Manning. It's a good... One two punch right there. Justice Hill. What do we got here? Robbie Anderson. Kind of stuck to that one. I don't know why. Jaguars. Ryquel Armstead, so Jaguars with a hit. And that is Camo, 12 out of 25. So again, sensational signatures. Camo, number to 25 for the Jaguars. And, you know, that concern that many have for Lamar Jackson um, has shown with guys in the past like Michael Vick. All right. It's showing in Cam Newton. And 
And I think Josh Allen's wave might be uh, slowing down a bit. I think he had four picks today. I don't know. Could that help Will Greer's status? I think the consensus on him is he's not ready yet, right? TriStar Platinum Edition Mini Helmet. All right, so we got a variation here. It is a JSA Witnessed Helmet. And it is a speed variation. Uh, this individual is a two-time Pro Bowler. And who is the other hit this box other than the Colts and the Jaguars? Uh, Reggie Wayne, Ryquel Armstead. That is a good question. Let me let me free up my hands first with this. We got Devonte Adams. Devonte Adams, Packers. Let's see. We'll see another hit. Again, Panini's on average. It doesn't happen often. But it does appear. We did have a couple cards that stuck earlier, so let me flip through real quick and make sure that's. But I usually am looking for them. happened before where another box would end up having four. Well, that's an insert, but that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, and that was from the first box. So. Nope. Signatures are rough nowadays, and it's probably because of the amount that they sign. So, when Panini fails, we improvise. What do we got here? Than that. I think I've given away most of my bigger ones, so I'll tell you what I'll do. They shorted one hit, so we'll add in two. I'm going to put in two more 250 point cards into the mix. It was probably a crappy auto anyway. The only thing that if it's not in here is the um, RPA, which we got to open more boxes to find that out. We won't find that out today. Um, if that case is missing an RPA, we might have some sort of a case. But otherwise, I never use points. So whenever I end up with them out of the um, randoms from a break, if I end up carrying spots, I just put them in a thing for times like this. So that's what I'll do. I don't have any bigger ones. Usually I put in like 600 or something like that. But we'll just put 
two 250s because that's what I got. I'll have to win some bigger ones later. All right. And again, we've seen that happen before where one box was short one and another one had an extra. And then all was good in the world. Yin and yang. Box number three. One more pack, and that's half the box. That's not a bad one. All right, let's keep it going. Dick Butkus, Da Bears. 26 out of 99. Blue Crystal, I like it. TJ Hawkinson. Gardner Minshew. Clinton Portis. Got legendary talents. Peyton Manning. Dak Prescott, 16 out of 249. J.J. Arcega Whiteside and Ryan Finley. That's not a bad back-to-back -back combo there. To J. Sharp, Blue Wave, 139 out of 199. We got Nick Boza, Miles Gaskin, that one. George Kittle, Melvin Gordon the third, seventy nine out of one seventy five. And numbered 61 out of 99, Ed Oliver, Blue Crystal. Sensational signatures for the Bills. Bills, Bills, Bills. Lauren, go Alonso, and number forty two out of forty nine, Tony Pollard. Didn't we hit a purple one of him already? What was that purple power? I feel like we did. So, Tony Pollard, Cowboys. Rookie 
of the leaves. Just got to check these again to work through them again. Closing up box number three here. And scene two, we should have one more. That's a nice parallel. Come on, last pack. Yes, sir. Kenyon Drake. 42 out of 75. That's a low enough number. We'll give that a little one cent more. Easton Stick. No offense. Oh, about that base. About that base. Drew Brees. Fireworks. Caden Smith. 187 out of 249. Montez Sweat, Andy Isabella. And how about Riley Ridley with the Blue Wave? 145 out of 199. That's not a bad silver. Chargers, Easton Stick. Not bad at all. Little OC, so don't expect a 10 on that. But still, not too shabby there. So, Easton Stick. And then Josh Jacobs for the Raiders. 45 out of 149. Kenny Galladay. We got Mason Crosby, Purple Power, uh, 41 out of 49. And closing out the box, Giants. Sensational Signatures, quarterback, cornerback, DeAndre Baker. DeAndre Baker. Then you got Josh Jacobs and LJ Collier. Leaf Mini.
This is not the first repeat from the full size helmet checklist. All right, we had that double case break the other day with the three full size helmets. Steve Largent was one of them. Yesterday, we saw a Steve Largent Mini. Another one that we saw was Jerry Rice, and we got him on a speed variation here. So, Jerry Rice Mini Helmet. Yeah, so that's better than Mel Renfro, better than Devontae Adams, right? Jerry Rice. The San Francisco Treat. Flash 80. some prison here. Let's see what we got. So again, we're going to repost a second break, same exact format. If you are in this one, you will have the first opportunity to buy the teams that you had. All right, so you got dibs on your team. Oh, that's a nice uh, parallel. I like that too. All right, you will have dibs if you want to get your team again. Yeah, the Boza autograph came yesterday <laughs> in Immaculate. We had the uh, acetate finish to 25. 49ers have been uh, smoking hot lately. All right, there's a hit. to it but to do it. So after this break we'll post Prism plus number two. Uh, Mike Williams emergent Kiki QT 109 out of 249. Alexander Madison, Rock Yasin. Sounds like a like a concert festival. Rock Yasin. Deshaun Hamilton, one ninety two out of one ninety nine. Devin Singletary, Travis Fulgham. Lamar Jackson, Sean Alexander, Brett Favre, legendary talents, and put up a good fight today. Got to hand him that. Put up a good fight today. Kyler Murray, 119 out of 199. Mahomes with the fireworks.
DeAndre Baker, 24 out of 175. Uh, Ed Oliver, Carson Wentz, 16, 18 out of 149, Will Greer, Calvin Harmon, And for the Bills, Tyree Jackson. Rashawn Gary and Brett Ripien. And the final. Six prison packs for this break. Come on. Should have seen another one by now. That's why. Okay, that explains it. All right, so we got an RPA. About that base, about that base. Got JJ Watt, fireworks. Devontae Parker, number 10 out of 75. Low number, we'll get another one somehow. Nicole Hardman. Jordan Akins, 216 out of 249. Richard Sherman, 97 out of 175. Julian Love. Jerome Bettis. That's not a bad silver. You're going to get a vet silver. The bus for the Steelers. Not too shabby. Austin Hooper, 27 out of 149. Debo Samuel, Drew Locke. John Brown had a pretty decent game today. 100 plus yards, a couple of touchdowns if I am uh, remembering correctly. And then the Steelers, 10 out of 60, Deontay Johnson with the RPA. So I need a thick sleeve for this guy. Well, I probably don't, but better safe than sorry. So Steelers, Deontay Johnson. 
That's considered a case hit there. And Falcons, Kadri Allison. This guy's a rookie. He looks like he's 30. That's the mustache. There's got to be something about that. This wasn't November when he took this picture either. So, Kadri Allison. Dwayne Haskins. And you heard. Jalen Hurd. All right. Grand finale. Yes. Jerome Bettis and then we'll RESPCT here too. Final hit will be the full size helmet. And I pray it goes to somebody on the East Coast. No, that's everybody's got a shot. But really, it does cost a lot to ship those things out. Been shipping a lot out west. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So, let's see here. What can we use to prop this up? How about we use our two box random team break to prop up our helmet box here? $26.95 for a team, two for 50. We got a box of Prism and a Break King football box, premium edition. Two graded rookies and one um, encased or graded autograph. In Break King. Prism. Well, you've been watching Prism boxes be opened for the last two hours, so or hour, I should say. So we'll use that. So this is a little bit taller. Alright. Got here leaf autograph full size helmet. And the final hit of the break. Do you think you know what it is? It's a name that I've said frequently a curse for a certain team. If you don't know who it is, then you don't know Butkus. Or maybe you do. So the Bears. It's Beckett certified. Look, see at this. Beckett certified. Dick Butkus. Autograph full size helmet. And we go with the replicas. So, not a bad way to end that off, especially if you got the pairs. Dick Butkus, autograph full size helmet. On the minis. We had Mel Renfro, Devontae Adams, and Jerry Rice. And then looking back at the cards that we got here, all right, had some decent uh, silvers. Three out of the four got my approval. Jerome Bettis. Easton Stick, Irv Smith, no game changers, but 
still decent. Kyler Murray, an honorable mention to 199. All right. RPA, number to 60, Deontay Johnson, Steelers. Falcons, Kadri Allison. Bills, Tyree Jackson. Giants, DeAndre Baker. Honorable mention for the Raiders, Josh Jacobs, number to 149. Um, how about uh, going back to autographs, Tony Pollard, number to 49 for the Cowboys. Ed Oliver for the Bills, number to 99. Ryquel Armstead for the Jaguars, number to 25. Colts got Reggie Wayne. Bengals got Jermaine Pratt. Broncos started off nice with uh, Drew Locke. We had 250 Panini points. And then for some reason or another, uh, you know, Panini sometimes misses one. That's why they're on average. So, uh, you know. I said, well, if they'll give you 250 Panini points, I'll give you 250 Panini points twice to make up for that. So that means three people. It's like an extra hint. They take one away, I give it two back. And uh, that's where we're at. So I'm going to repost this break. Um... Real quick, though, I do want to go over this 2018 Allen and Ginther case. Again, I am willing to schedule it with 15 teams filled and paid. 15. All right. There's still some really good ones left. Remember, 2018. All right. A little bit before a few players uh, started making uh, an appearance in sets, but after some key ones, including Ronald Acuna. And I want to say Glaber Torres is in this one too. I gotta to double check. I haven't pri I priced this one out during the nationals, so I don't remember. But it's scrolling at the bottom of your screen right now. Remaining teams. Uh don't forget there is a skunk bonus in that one. It is a tri-star. New York Dynasty Baseball. So in addition to 36 hits, we'll play ball a little bit. Diamondbacks are 25. Braves, 225. Orioles, 80. Red Sox, 150. Raphael Devers. White Sox are 35. Nationals are 90. Cubs are 90. Indians are 50. Victor Robles, by the way, for Nationals. Rockies are 28. Tigers are 18. Astros are 85. Angels, 225. Um, after the Angels. It's going a little too slow there. Fortunately, there's a little lag on the phone, and I can catch right back up. So, Angels, 225. Otani. Dodgers are 85. Marlins are 30. Brewers are 30, Mets 75, Yankees 160, A's are 50, Phillies 45. That's a sneaky one. I think Reese Hoskins rookie's still there, right? Pirates are 35, Mariners 85, Rays are 15, Blue Jays are 28, and then you have the non-baseball. All right, there's a lot of things going on with those. They're 150. So, Daniel, you'll take the Brewers. Brewers are now off the board. Brew crew. So that gets us one closer. Brewers, 30. And anybody else got anything for me? Log that down. So twenty eighteen remaining teams, we pull that. Uh, 
Brewers, 18, Daniel Morgan. Why does it keep capitalizing when it comes down? The full-sized helmets for personals. Um, shipping is a factor. Uh, two ninety nine. So shipped anywhere west of the center of the United States. I gotta go two ninety nine, ripped and shipped for a full size. And don't forget, we got a bunch of breaks on the board. Um, if you need me to message you the link, uh, I even even today I have somebody said I haven't seen any of your posts in weeks. I really think there's something wrong with the Facebook because while plenty of people have some issues, I feel like some of the Facebook stuff that I got to deal with is a little excessive. But so if you can't see it, just message me. I'll get you the info you need. But full sized helmets are $299. The TriStar Platinum are $139. And then the Leaf, the regular Leaf mini helmets are $89. Uh, we also have the TriStar Footballs. Um, we haven't thrown those into a break yet. I probably will. Those are probably better in a break. I don't know. They're like, um, 259. Probably better off in a break. But we do have the footballs too. We'll get those in the break soon. One by one. So that's basically what we got for right now. Again, tomorrow we're going to see if we can get another break just like this, but with four different boxes. And uh, I think there's, there's more to offer in this case than what we saw today. But also trying to break it down, keep it. Keep it budget conscious too. So if you want to keep your teams, if you have multiple teams, you want to keep some and drop some, just let me know. Uh, hit me up on Messenger with that info. Um, or when I put the post up, just let me know on the post. And uh, probably eh, being as it's like 1 o'clock. And I don't know who's stayed through the whole time and who went to bed. Uh, I'll just message people tomorrow. We'll put it around 3 p.m. Eastern time as the uh, the hold period ending. So you got until 3 p.m. Eastern time to let me know if you want to keep or drop your teams. And that's a wrap. So we'll see everybody later, and uh, we'll look to rip you a new one tomorrow. Take care.